I kid you not, just a second ago, I screamed like a little girl because a giant black caterpillar came crawling out from under my desk here in the garage. Anyway, hello everybody. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And today I would like to share with you guys my final thoughts on the Remet Knives Rhinoceros. This is going to be a highly, highly recommendable knife. There are a couple little quirks and little features that I want to go over um to help you guys be able to you know, make that final purchase decision but yeah this is going to be a, a no-brainer for me for example if i lost this knife today um i would go out and buy it like right now right now because it's at a pretty good price this variation that you see in front of you this is the b blast blade silver hardware liners clip and natural micarta. This one is $49.50. That is a pretty sweet freaking price for this knife. There are two other variations. There is a green micarta version with the same silver uh, counterparts. And then there is a fully blacked out one that's actually $55. Uh, I could have sworn I paid 55 bucks for this. Maybe they adjusted their pricing. I don't know. Remet does that a lot. They also typically offer a little 5% coupon that you can apply for checkout. And I think a couple other YouTubers have a discount code. Uh, I'm just not aware of it, which I'm really surprised. I'm probably one of the channels that has the most content on Remet Knives, even from when they were QIGMGS. I purchased a lot of knives, have handled most, if not all their models. Um, I did not receive this one from them. I purchased it. I actually did the pre-order purchase. So I waited a little bit for it. And I'm very happy that I did because this has definitely surprised me quite a bit. Just check out the action. It's not a typical button lock action but there's something that is a whole lot different about it that I definitely appreciate and have very much enjoyed fidgeting with. Solidity on this thing is like really no other budget button lock that I've handled. Mind you, budget. Because I have handled some premium button lock knives that um, it's a whole different category, but we're talking just under 50 bucks. This is a super sub budget knife right here. And for what you get here, this is a, this is a good, good value knife for sure. Never been the biggest fan of pulling specs off of Amazon. So I have a lineup of six knives that I hope will help you guys get a good visual grasp of what this guy is all about. This is definitely on the more compact size. But I think people with uh, large stacks, large size hands will definitely be able to enjoy its stout and compact nature. So let's go ahead and start with other favorable stout and compact knives. This is the Urban ADC F5.5. We have Spyderco Native 5. So it's definitely a little bit longer than both of them, for sure. Couple more we got here. Bench made bug out. Pretty much the same length, just a whole lot more welcoming in hand for sure. Definitely a whole lot more hand filling. Demco 8020.5, right on the dot. Same length, but again, very welcoming in hand. The thickness, the height in hand feels pretty darn good. And with the micarta, it's also very soft too. So no hard or weird jagged edges. Some big boys to finish off size comparisons. We have the Spyderco PM2. I apologize if in past videos I've called it the Para 3. I used to have a Para 3, but I gifted it to my cousin. So I no longer have a Para 3, for example. And then the last here we have is the Wii. Praxis. I don't know why I always hesitate on that name. I feel like it was called something else. Alrighty. So there is those guys. And I actually have here a traditional button lock knife. One that's taken the world by storm, honestly. This is my 
perfect project pyrite right here this is the fancy one with s90v and the action you see here is the traditional button lock action once you disengage it falls so fast that it actually bounces if you keep that button compressed but if you let it go it's still relatively smooth and it drops down i did just take this apart do some maintenance on it internally i do need to put an edge on it i've completely destroyed it um yes even though it is s9dv i was able to definitely wear it down enough to where it definitely needs some work done um but yeah this is the typical button lock action you get this not so much and the reason why is because this actually has an internal detent system that has broken in quite beautifully honestly so this has the action of a 250 confidently to pushing it a $350 premium knife. Um, overseas production, definitely, which is gonna be whole, whole uh, yeah, it's gonna have a whole lot more value than anything that's made in the US. So we're just gonna keep it in overseas production comparison wise. Action on this is absolutely incredible. And it's just, I can't stop doing this. It's so fun to mess around with. Detent lash, none. You can go ahead, reverse flick, thumb flick, and there is the space here for front flipping. It is not the best, but it is definitely possible. And even with your index finger, could be a little uncomfortable, but again, it is possible. Just for fidget factor, you do have this space here that really wasn't necessary. If anything, it just traps a bunch of pocket lint and shit in there. But it's there, you can flick off of it if you want, if you have, and I did use this for gardening purposes and I had some thick leather gloves on because I was going through a bunch of like cactus and crap that I have in my backyard. Um, so I had some really like thick grimy leather gloves on and um, I felt like I was having more contact with the studs because they stick out well enough, but I was mainly aiming my thumb down to this space right here. And yeah, I mean, it's it's crisp enough to uh, be able to flick off of it, but really, I think it's just more for aesthetic purposes. Talking about aesthetic purposes, the overall shape and design of this, I think it looks absolutely wonderful in the open position. When it's closed, eh, it's nothing too crazy, but open, I think this is a very stout, compact, broad knife and it feels absolutely incredible in hand me personally i have large to extra large size hands but very slim fingers um, so there's a whole lot of room for me to move around whether i want to be right up underneath that sharpening troil and yeah while it's not a dedicated uh finger space you can sit right up there it's quite comfortable honestly and uh, this is actually going to be staying in the collection. I'm going to be doing a bunch of modifications because I genuinely enjoy this knife for sure. The blade material on this is 14C28N. If I can find the blade steel stamp, I swear, there it is. It was around here somewhere. There it is, 14C28N. On this side, it says Remet. Could have been up there in that little space, whatever, not a big deal. Um, or it could have just not been there at all. <laughs> but again, not a big deal. So... Taking a look at the hardware on this, it is flat on both sides with a T8 Torx bit axis on both sides. It does have a D-shaped pivot, I believe. I can't remember at the moment. I'm pretty sure it did, because I remember the disassembly and reassembly of this thing was super easy. Um, and everything just kind of snapped back into place. Uh, not a whole lot of fiddling or fidgetiness uh, when it came to getting this back together. Uh, the rest of the body screws are going to be T6, unfortunately, but they are extremely high quality T6, and uh, I do definitely appreciate that. So here you have a just little end piece of a back spacer. That's appreciated. It could have just been standoffs uh, a little bit further up. That would have been cool too, but it's all right. A very small pin out of the way visually for lanyard people, which is cool. The clip, it is only for the right side, and now I understand why. After carrying this thing, I understand why this is not meant for left-handed people. 
and we'll get into that in just a little bit but this pocket clip i want to share with you guys this pocket clip looks very similar to a lot of like civivi and wii pocket clips it is very different because the slope it is extremely extremely minimal and gradual and this thing is a dream in and out of the pocket and all different types of pant material you don't feel it in hand this is a perfect absolutely perfect budget pocket clip right here it's not sharp everything is well rounded off i like that inset there with flat screws also t6 pretty easy to take apart do maintenance on <clears throat> inside you do have a very large pocket in that steel liner on this side for weight relief you also have some weight relief on the side with the little detent you can tune that detent if you want to and it doesn't really affect the action a whole lot its purpose is just to keep the blade from falling out of the handle because what i've been noticing in a lot of budget button lock knives or even more premium button lock knives is that with gravity you can whip them out with this not so much so you need a little bit more intent behind those flicks but once you get it out once you get that blade out it is quite satisfying to open and close to fidget with it and of course to use this thing is absolutely wonderful in hand extremely comfortable um it's very minimal but there is this slight little dip down in there for a harpoon and just a a thumb space and for me at least choked up absolutely all the way on this thing absolutely incredible i love using this thing and i have been using it a lot um, i'm gonna be putting my second edge on it already because i've just been using this thing like crazy i've been using it for outdoor work uh, for work a lot of the time and then also for just a whole lot of cardboard destruction um, as you can see, the handles are extremely grimy and dirty. I will be taking this apart, cleaning it. I'm going to do my typical writ dye job on this. I'm going to do teal. I was told that these little collars are titanium. I'm not 100% sure. I'll figure that out. I know the rest of the hardware is steel in here, so it's not a big deal. Um, what else? What else? Oh, there was something I wanted to talk about. This is a... I wouldn't say a nitpick this is actually a serious quality control issue right here i don't think it is going to continue anymore also perfectly centered even though i've taken this apart multiple times already tuned it a bunch to get rid of any like side to side play but before i did my first sharpening i started noticing that the edge was actually coming in contact with the backspacer if you could see that white line down there that is the micarta being frayed by the very edge of this. Now, maybe it's because uh, when I flick it closed, maybe it pushes down just enough to make contact and whack against that backspacer. If that backspacer was actual standoffs or a steel piece, that would demolish your edge and is a huge, huge quality control issue that needs to be fixed immediately. Chances are, this could just be this unit, but that is something to look uh, at. Definitely, if you go and pick one up, again, it could just be my example. And after a sharpening or two, that'll be guaranteed to go away because you're removing material, of course, making the distance between the backspacer and that live edge further apart. Besides that little nitpick, and also the reason why this is not meant for lefties, is check this out. So while a button lock knife, right, should be available for all lefties to use, the positioning of the button, if you choke up on this as if you were in the right-handed position, I can actually feel the meat of my hand kind of depressing the button just a little bit and causing some slight up and down, um, which can cause slip and could be very sketchy and end in a trip to the hospital or just some minor stitches or you just i don't know put glue on your cut like a psychopath or a man um same thing right so again not really something that uh i'm the biggest fan of because a button lock knife should be able to be utilized by people who are right-handed and left-handed i mean the action is still the same it's just as fidgety just as wonderful and even the front flip i can do with my left hand not a problem it's just the positioning 
the throw on the button, the actual strength that it takes to decompress the button, and the fact that it sticks out so much. It is, it is insane how much this thing sticks out. Now that's pretty much it. Let's get the weight on this. I already did some size comparisons. The edge on this after sharpening, incredible. Absolutely wonderful. Did reprofile it. I think it's at like 18 degrees. It's pretty darn sweet. 3.6, 3.7, not bad at all. I highly recommend it, even though, you know, this is just going to be exclusive for right-handed people. Again, should be for both you know, and be carry, but um, for safety reasons, because of the way that the button sticks out, its placement, it really should just be utilized by right-handed people. So that is a little unfortunate. The front flipper, uh, the jimping could be sharper or just take it off completely or do a slight redesign to make it a little broader. It's just all this other stuff kind of gets in the way, but that's really the design, the aesthetic of it. Those uh studs do look like they would be external stops so they're not they actually don't come in contact this is just a traditional stop pin knife um that stop pin should definitely the open position stop pin should definitely be larger and the closed pin stop pin it's it's fine it's fine um doesn't really need to be that much bigger but a little bit bigger wouldn't be wouldn't be an issue either Overall, I'd say that this is a highly, highly recommendable knife. Definitely a wonderful fidget beater knife, uh, just under 50 bucks or uh, with the other variations, 55 bucks. Even still, you can apply different coupons and stuff like that. So with that being said, I will be linking this down below in the description if you're interested in it. If you did like this video, go ahead and leave a like down below. If you are subscribed, I will definitely appreciate all your guys' support and patience, of course. If you are not subscribed, consider subscribing because I have plenty more videos coming your guys' way. And with that being said, have a wonderful rest of your day.